Well, hello there, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rexy here. Today we're continuing on with our mini series where we just go through every enemy in Kingdom Rush and we talk about them. So yeah, now we're moving on to Origins. And for the sake of uh, the video being for everyone, I'm gonna be just telling you about the enemies on veteran difficulty. Now, if you're playing on Steam, there's also impossible mode, and the enemies are gonna have different stats and abilities, but for the sake of the mobile players, I'm gonna do it on veterans. So if you're on mobile, this video is also for you. So without any further ado, let's dive into the enemies and talk about them. Starting off with the No Reaver, I mean, come on, we we've already been through this, these are basically the beginning enemies. They have 60 HP, 3 to 6 damage, no resistances to speak of, and fast movement speed. The only negative is that they come in herds, they come in pretty big hordes, and they're pretty tightly pi piled up. So artillery, even though this game is not the greatest, uh, tier 3 to 4 artillery is usually the best one to option to deal with. Arcane air, uh, burst arrows are also pretty good. Just any area damage is good for dealing with these guys. Kind of the same thing for the No Burner. They're a little bit stronger at 75 HP. They do less damage. Wait, do they? Yeah, they do. Their, their damage is less. They, but they also have a ranged fire attack, and fire attacks are classified as true damage, so your units are gonna be struggling a little bit to, to hold them up, but. Usually they're not gonna, they're not able to just get through the entire line of units, so... Even if you have like a tier 2 or 3 barracks, it's usually gonna be enough to pile them up at, for you to kill them with area damage. That's usually how you deal with them. No Gnoller. Now these are basically the beefier enemies. 300 HP, medium armor, 10 to 20 damage, they have medium movement speed, and they get battle fear when they're uh, in, in groups. Basically they do a little bit more damage. Their armor doesn't get any higher, their health stays the same, they, they just get a little bit uh, more attack damage. How do you deal with them? Usually magic damage, or burst arrows. Burst arrows are pretty broken, but for the most part, mages are pretty good. Usually getting a tier 3 mage is more than enough to deal with a Gnoller, and maybe a barrack to accompany it, so that way they don't just run by by it. Oh, notifications, bruh. <laughs> uh, sorry for that. Okay, anyway, hyenas. What do we have about hyenas? Well, they're basically the doggos. The doggos of the game. 45 HP, fast movement speed, they're unblockable. Unlike the other games where you can block uh, the dog-like enemies, these guys, they are unblockable. If anything, they, they start to move faster if they get nearby a unit, so... You don't want to use barracks against them, it's pretty bad. Usually, mages are not the greatest too, because they have low magic resistance. Archers are usually the best bet when it comes down to dealing with hyenas. Tier 3 archers are by far the best. And they're also pretty good against the, this enemy, the Periton. Basically the flying enemy. And they do have 120 HP and fast movement speed, so they're not a pushover by any means. They're pretty they're pretty decent for a flying tier and for the, the first flying enemy that you see. But and, and they can also carry units, they can carry uh, Gnog Gnollers. So you watch out for that. <laughs> Moving on to the No Blider, eh, he's the mage, and he is very annoying. 750 HP and high magic resistance may not seem too threatening, but their basic attack, even though it says 8 to 12, that's only their melee attack. Their ranged attack is much, much stronger, and they also can wither magical plants. For those who don't know, it's uh, it, 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 if you played Origins, you probably know what this is. If you don't, on some levels, you can see you can uh, get a. Spe special interactables in the form of plants, and if you use them, a magical bots are gonna shoot out and uh, seek the nearest enemy and deal magic damage. These guys can disable it, and that's kind of annoying, because they can do it from quite far away. So, how do you deal with them? Usually archers. Get an arcane archer, or uh, just tier 3 archers, and you should have enough power to kill them. And try to micro your units uh, into, their, into them. Like, try to move your units as far, as far away as possible and then move them back in, so that way they can keep them in melee range, and that way they're gonna be easier to stall, because their range attack is much stronger. Moving on to the Ethan. The Ethan is, bas is the big enemy that you have to deal with. 1000 HP, fast regeneration, 85 to 95 physical damage on his basic attack, medium movement speed, and costs 2 lives. How do you deal with these guys? Well, just damage them, man. <laughs> They have no resistances, so they're pretty slow, and they're and they're tonky. Just you know, use use anything. The only thing that I will not recommend against them is the, is the artillery. Everything else works pretty well into them. 
Even barracks, if you get them up to like a uh, tier 4, are pretty good into the Eten. Moving on to the Twilight Harasser. Now, these guys are very annoying because there's a lot of them, they're spammable, and they just have uh, a lot of annoying attributes. They have 325 HP, 20 to 30 physical damage, low armor, fast movement speed, and they cost 1 life. But they also have Shadow Jump, basically whenever they get into melee range, they dash backwards, and they have ranged attacks. The thing is that they also have a volley type of attack, where they shoot a bunch of arrows rapidly at one target. And these attacks are pretty strong against uh, barracks. So yeah, these these guys are very tough, but they're also very, very anti-barracks friendly, so... It's pretty tough to stall them, but normally burst arrows are insanely good at killing them. Burst arrows are the way to go, in my opinion. Just get get some high tier barracks and a, and a couple arcane archers with burst arrows, and these guys are no longer a threat. It's even better than the artillery tower. But if you go for artillery, Weirdwood is definitely the better option. The first boss, Kakaina. Honestly, not much to speak of for this guy. Only 8000 HP, 70 to 90 physical damage. Medium armor, medium speed, and obviously 20 lives because he's a boss. How do you deal with him? Very easy. Just get a uh, two set, two barracks, uh, two. Just get two sets of blade singers with a uh, with the uh, parry ability all the way up, and just get a wild magus, and then watch the magic happen. It's as simple as that. <laughs> this boss is a joke, and I'm pretty sure no one has died on this boss unless unless a challenge has been involved. Moving on to the next enemies, we have Sword Spiders. The Spiders. Now, these guys are not a pushover like the other spiders from Kingdom Hearts 1 and Frontiers. They have 180 HP, 8 to 12 physical damage, high magic resistance, and fast movement speed. So, yeah, archers and artillery are pretty good into them. Although artillery may not be the best option unless it's a high tier, archers are better, in my opinion. Just go for tier 3 archers. Uh, satire uh, Cutthroat. These guys are also kind of annoying, but not really. Any type of area damage can w destroy them. They're like the spiders, but they have no resistances. They're fast, and they do between 6 to 10 damage. They also have a ranged attack that's not that strong. It, it's not as strong as the Twilight Harassers, but they do have a ranged attack. But the thing is that they have to get kind of close to use it, so... For the most part, it's not that bothering. What is bothering, however, is this enemy, the Satire Hoplite. These guys are a pain in the ass. That, that's the end of the sentence. 700 health, 25-35 physical damage, medium armor, fast movement speed, and they can summon uh, allies, aka these guys. And they can summon a lot of them. The, the only way to, to really stop them is to try to, you know, literally stall them. Just stall them out and don't, don't let them uh, walk out because they're gonna start spawning these guys and they can easily overwhelm you. Usually, get like a tier 3 barrack to stall them, and go for a mage. A ma mages are pretty efficient at killing them. Arcane archers are not the greatest. They, they work, but mages are pretty good, are a little bit better. I would say a wild magus or a high oven mage should be enough to deal with these guys, as long as you have a, someone blocking them. The web spider spider, uh, another annoying enemy. 700 health, 10 to 14 damage, no armor, high ar uh, high magic resistance, fast movement speed, and it costs one life. The thing is that they can also web your units. And they can web a lot of units, uh, for that matter. I'm not sure what the limit is, but I think it's like 4 or 5, so they can web a lot. And when they web a unit, they disable it and they can just walk right past it. They're very annoying, just, uh, just get a bunch of archers. That's pretty much uh, the best way to deal with them. Get high tier archers and hope for the best. Gloomies. They're basically the new flying enemy. They have only 40 HP, they move fast, and they can also duplicate themselves. How do you, how do you deal with them? Spawn kill. Spawn kill them, usually any form of area damage, even artillery, as long as there's some uh, ground enemies underneath them. But for the most part, burst arrows at tier 1 is more than enough. Moving on to the Twilight Scourger. Uh, these guys are weird. They have 550 HP, they do between uh, 15 to, to 35 physical damage. They have high armor, me uh, sorry, high magic resistance, medium movement speed, they cost 1 life. They can speed up allies and they, what they, what, and they can also curse towers on that. So speeding up uh, other enemies is already annoying. But the, what the, the description doesn't tell you is that they can also increase their damage. Yeah, because why not? <laughs> 
the, the good thing is that the, the buff doesn't last for very long, but still, it's annoying. And whenever they die, they disable a tower for quite a long time. I think it's like 8 seconds or so. They can disable a tower for quite a long time, so... Don't kill them right away. Kill them last, usually. But if the situation comes out to it, prepare to not have your towers for quite a while. <laughs> Bandage Thizzle Snatchers. Sorry, the Bander Snatch, that's what it is. Now these guys are probably one of the worst enemies to deal with. 3500 HP, 40 to 60 physical damage. And they also have a really big uh, area d damaging attack. That's very devastating. They are, they're fast and they cost 2 lives. They also cannot be slowed. You wanna keep these guys blocked the whole time. Because if they're not blocked, they're gonna roll and they're gonna curve into a ball and they're just gonna go yeet through the map. And with that HP, it's not gonna be easy to take them down. Usually, inst kills are the best to deal against these guys. Either get an inst kill like the Eldritch Doom, or get a Hunter's Mark and uh, burst them down with sheer damage. Either way, this is the best way to deal with them. As far as stalling goes, use your hero, it's uh, the safest bet. If your hero is not available, then go for Blade Singers. Red Caps. Eh, not a very annoying enemy to be honest. They have only 150 HP, they're fast, they do between 15 to 25 physical damage. But they also have a Death Strike. Basically, they have a small chance to perform an instant kill attack. That instant kills any, any one of your units, besides your hero, that is. And yeah, it sucks. How do you deal with them? Area damage. Any, any type of area damage to kill these guys. Twilight Avenger. Now, these guys are kind of hard to deal with. 1300 HP, 50 to 75 physical damage, medium armor, no resistances, and... Uh, sorry, no magic resistance. Medium armor, uh, oh my god, I can't speak today. Medium movement speed, and they cost one life. They also can, they also get reduced, this, even though it says medium, uh, armor, they actually have high armor. You have to block them in order for you to get them down to medium armor. But with that damage, it's pretty hard to stall them for a long time. And they also have the blasting curse. Basically, they curse an enemy near them, and if the enemy dies, he explodes and he deals area damage to your units. Pretty annoying enemy, usually try to spawn kill them, but if you, if you can't spawn kill them, then make sure to have some magic damage in the form of like a burst arrows or a wild magus or high elven mage, stuff like that. Or forest keepers, forest keepers are really good at melting them. Moving on to the boom shrooms. 90 HP, no attack damage, no resistances, fast movement speed, and they also explode when they come into contact with anything. How do you deal with them? Artillery. Same for these guys, mushrooms. Basically a bigger mushrooms. 250 HP, 5 to 15 attack damage, no resistances and they are fast. They also spawn uh, boom shrooms whenever they die, so keep your eyes out for that. But usually tier 3 to 4 artillery is more than enough to deal with them. Now for the fungus breeder though, this is a different story. They have 600 HP, they do between 20 to 40 physical damage, they have no resistances, medium movement speed, and they cost whopping 4 lives. They also spawn, spawn mushrooms, aka these guys whenever they die. But they can also uh, upgrade mushrooms, so if, you, if, if there's a lot of boom shrooms near them, they're gonna turn them into mushrooms. Thankfully, they, they cannot transform mushrooms into fungus, into fungus breeders, because that would be ridiculous. How do you deal with them? Artillery is not the greatest because of their HP, so... Wild Magus, or uh, Instkills, or uh, maybe getting a uh, Hunter's Mark and trying to kill them with Brute Force. The second boss of the game, Militia. Uh, eh, she is pretty mech. 11,000 HP, 120 to 120 physical damage. Well, that's not a lot. No, no resistances to speak of, medium, arm, uh, medium movement speed, and she costs 20 lives. Honestly, she's pretty easy to kill. Just get a bunch of Forest Keepers. Forest Keepers are like her Kryptonite, so... As long as you don't have them too close together though, because she does uh, area damage, so... Get a bunch of Forest Keepers, but try to keep them spaced out just a little bit. And get the uh, Oak Spears, and she's just gonna disappear. Moving on, Razor Boar. The Razor Boar is a weird enemy. They have 1500 HP, 30 to 40 damage, medium armor, uh, medium movement speed and they cost 1 life. They also have a burning charge. Whenever they get close to a unit, they just charge with them and they do damage. It's simple as that. Also, they they get uh, more damage the longer they fight. So, yeah, you gotta be careful for that. You gotta be careful for these guys, because 
I mean, you can stall them, but the longer you stall them, the harder it's gonna become for you to actually stall them, so... How do you deal with them? Usually a bunch of damage. A bunch of uh, magic damage or instant kills. Twilight Evoker. Eh, they're pretty annoying. 700 HP, 5 to 15 physical damage, no armor, uh, high magic resistance, medium movement speed, and they cost one life. The problem is that they silence your towers. Basically, they don't allow them to use their abilities, which sucks. And on top of that, they also heal nearby uh, nearby enemies. So try to kill them uh, as soon as possible. They're, 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 they're very annoying, especially if, if they pile up. So try to take them out as soon as possible. The Twilight Golem. 4500 HP, 120 to 180 area damage, high armor, no magic resistance, medium movement speed, and they cost 3 lives. The thing is that they, they're actually a little bit faster than that, but... They do slow down when they're damaged, so the more damage you deal with to them, the slower they're gonna move. How do you deal with them? Pretty easy. Just go for a wild Magus and a Hunter's Mark. It melts them like butter. It's by far the most efficient way to deal with them. Moving on, Cloud Stalker. Oh yeah. And they're surrounded by enemies, just go add, add an artillery in, into the mixture to deal with the low tier enemies, so that way the wild Magus can focus on the Golem. Where was I now? Oh yeah, Cloud Stalkers. These are probably the most annoying flag enemies in the game. They only have 90 HP and they move fast, but they also can breathe from soldiers. So, they're just gonna launch to, to one of your soldiers, they're gonna drain them, and if you don't kill them fast enough, they're gonna spawn more of themselves. And you can see how this can become a problem. The good thing is that once they land to you want to breathe, on, breathe from one of your units, um, you're, are, you're, they basically become classified as a ground unit, so artillery is actually not bad to them. It's not the best option, but it is an option. I would say for the most part, arcane archers are the kryptonite, so arcane archers or uh, mid-tier artillery. This is usually the best way to deal with them. Spider brood, basically the little spiders. They have only 100 HP. 4 to 6 damage and they're fast, and they have a new magic resistance. So, how do you deal with them? Artillery. Simple as that. The Twilight Heretic. Now, this guy is another story. 20, 2250 HP, pretty interesting number. 40 to 50 physical damage, no armor, high magic resistance, medium movement speed, and he costs 2 lives. He also has the Soul of Co Consumption in the Group of Darkness. The Soul of Consumption is basically makes it. Basically, this ability makes it so that. Um, he can uh, drain the, the life force out of all, out of some some units, and he can potentially kill them. And then he just uh, zooms across the map for a little bit, and he's unable to be blocked. And the grip of darkness is this thing right here, where he basically disables your units. Very annoying enemy, just instant kills. Instant kills are the best way to deal with this guy. Son of Mactans. Now th this is a very annoying spider. 275 HP, 8 to 12 damage, high magic resistance, they're fast and they cost 1 life. But they also have a very, very strong poisonous stack that can pretty much destroy one of your units. So how do you deal with them? High tier artillery and some archers. And if you're, go and if you're gonna use barracks, which you are, make sure you have a high tier barrack. At least tier 3 barrack. Otherwise these guys are just gonna chop right through them and get, a get away. Arachnomancer. Now this guy is basically the, the, a spawn, a walking spawner. 1100 HP, 16 to 24 physical damage, no resistances, medium movement speed, and he costs 3 lives. He can also summon spiders of any kind. He can summon spider brutes, he can summon sons of mactans, and he can summon uh, spider links, which are basically these tiny mini spiders over there. And honestly, he's not that annoying. The problem is that whenever he dies, he also spawns a bunch of spiders. And yeah, how do you deal with them? Just keep him occupied. As long as he's uh, stalled, he's not gonna be able to do anything. And because he doesn't do all that much damage, you should be able to stall him out forever. So yeah, stall him and kill him before he can get to your choke point. The Drider. Ah, uh, these, these guys are annoying. They have 600 HP, 10 to 20 damage, no resistances, they're fast, and they cost one life. They also have a poison stack, and if someone uh, dies from that poison, they're gonna transform into another Drider after some time. So these guys are annoying. You wanna kill them as fast as possible. Anything works, pretty much. There's no really specific way to deal with them. I would say artillery is not the greatest though, just don't, don't use artillery when you have a lot of Driders. 
but archers and even some mages are pretty good into them. If you're gonna use barracks, make sure they're high tier, otherwise these guys are just gonna breed right breed off them. The spider goddess, I mean there's not much to say about her. She is she does have medium magic resistance though, but the problem with with having magic resistance in this game is that Arcane Archers exist, so. If you're worried about the magic resistance, just get an Arcane Archer, he's gonna shred her magic resistance, and from that point on, just kill her. She's a very simple boss, She's not. she doesn't have anything specific about her that's super super life-threatening. So yeah, just play normally, that's all I'm gonna say. The Blood Nose, now these guys are very bad. They have 550 HP, 16 to 24 physical damage, no resistances, they're fast and they cost 1 life. The problem is that they are very tanky, 550 HP. Compared to a regular Gno, that's a, that's a lot. That's nearly 10 times the amount of HP. So how do you deal with them? Well, mages are actually surprisingly the best option against them. Because they do have a weakness, they take more magic damage. I'm not sure what the percentage was, but I think it was like 40% more magic damage taken. So, mages are incredibly good into them. If you don't, if you don't want to go for a mage tower, then an arcane archer with burst arrows is also pretty good. And just make sure to have a mid, mid to high tier uh, barrack to stall them. Blood orc. Now this guy has the blood city and corruption thing going for him. Basically, he can transform this guy or this guy into this. But as long as you keep him stalled, he's not gonna be able to do it. And as you can see, he has only 1500 HP. He does between 20, 23 to 30 physical damage. And he only has medium magic resistance. So, he's not that problematic. Just make sure you stall him out. If you can't stall him out, then spawn kill him. Org Magi. Now, these guys are probably one of the most... Yeah, no, correction, they are one of the most annoying enemies in the game. 2500 HP, 4872 damage. No, re no armor, but they do have high magic resistance. They have medium movement speed, and they cost 2 lives. And they also have the lifelink aura. Basically... Any unit that's near them take, uh, takes half, half uh, basically half the damage that any unit near the Org Magi will take is gonna get transferred into the Org Magi, but the problem is that they also have crazy high regeneration. So yeah, the best way to deal with them normally is to just have a small horde of enemies near them. I know this sounds stupid, but trust me on that. M let them be with the horde and just use a bunch of area damage. That way you're gonna kill them really fast. Preferably lightning strike them before anything else, but another good way to kill them is with instant skills. So yeah, instant skills or a lot of area damage. That's uh, usually the best way to deal with the org magis. And whatever you do, don't stall them with forest keepers. It's not gonna work. Use uh, blade singers with with the perfect parry. Brand the beheader. This guy is probably the, a, a little bit more of a unique boss. He does have 1300 HP. And he also has uh, 100 to 150 physical damage. But he can also instantly one-shot any unit that's not your hero. He has no resistances to speak of, he has medium movement speed, and he costs 20 lives. So how do you kill him? Well, the best way to do it is just dance around with your hero. Keep him at your choke point, and then whenever he's about to attack your uh, hero, just move him slightly to the side. And keep on doing that until this guy pretty much uh, becomes dead. It's as simple as that. He's not a difficult boss whatsoever. Moving on to the last few enemies. Blood Servant. These are basically the big dogs. They have 300 HP, between 16 to 24 physical damage, no resistances, they're fast, and they cost 1 life. And they are a little bit more difficult to deal with because they can actually fight with your units. It's not like they're just gonna run right past them. But they are pretty darn difficult to deal with. They're not easy. But you, but no, normally a tier 3 or tier 4 barrack is more than enough to stall them in. After that, just use any tower. Screecher Bat. Uh, kind of a reused enemy, isn't it? Tell, name one Kingdom Hearts game that we haven't seen bats appear in one, one way, shape or form. Here they are. The only difference between uh, the bats from the original Kingdom Hearts or Frontiers is that these guys are a little bit tankier. They have 120 HP and they can also stun soldiers that are underneath them. So, yeah, they are kind of annoying. But for the most part, tier 3 archers are more than enough. Tier 4 archers are also good, but tier 3 is all you need. 
moving on to the Mounted Avenger. This guy is probably one of the hardest enemies in the game. He has 1400 HP, he deals between 60 to 90 physical damage, he has minimum magic resistance, they're fast, and he costs 2 lives. And once you kill it, an Avenger will spawn, which is uh, this enemy right here. So, how do you deal with these guys? Usually insta-kills. Surprisingly, insta-kills work very well into them. The thing is that if you insta-kill them with a Crimson Shot, and not with the Eldritch Doom, uh, an Avenger is still going to spawn for some reason. I don't know why, but it just does. However, if you kill them with the Eldritch Doom, they're all gonna spawn an Avenger. So, this is usually the best way to deal with them. And because you see them only on one level, uh, Eldritch Doom is by far the best way to deal with them. If you don't have, if you don't want to do it though, then just have a good mixture of magical and physical damage. Moving on to Badge Newman the Hateful. This guy is probably the hardest boss in the game. He does have 1300 HP, he does between 120 to 150 physical damage, he has no resistances, he has medium movement speed, and he costs 20 lives. The problem is that this guy, even though his uh, melee attack is pretty weak, at least for a boss, his um. Right, his special ability is very annoying. He can basically summon a death rain that deals a lot of magic damage and he could kill almost anything. But the good thing is that he aims for your hero, so what you want to do is you want to have your hero somewhere on the map and whenever this guy comes up and he's about to use this ability, just move your hero slightly to the side and you should be able to avoid it. And ask for how to stall this guy, just get a bunch of blade singers. Get a bunch of blade singers up to with a perfect parry up to level 3 and just wait for this guy to slowly but surely meet his fate. That's pretty much how you cheese this guy. Moving on, Shadow Spawns. These guys are probably the toughest base enemy in the game. They have 450 HP, they do between 16 to 24 physical damage, they have no resistances, but they do move fast. And they cost one life. Honestly, very annoying. Any tower against them works though. As far as barracks go, make sure to have at least a tier 3 because they do have some decent damage. I think they're... let me check. 550... Hmm, actually no. These guys are actually the, the, the toughest uh, basic enemy that you can encounter because they have a little bit more health. So, correction on that. These guys are the second hardest enemy. In terms of like, base enemy that is. Devourer. No, the, these guys are just pain. 700 HP, they do between 32 to 48 physical damage. They have low armor, which may seem like it's nothing, but they do. They still have some armor. They move fast, and they ha can also consume your soldiers, where they delete a good chunk of their health. And, well, the consumption basically is whenever a unit dies near them, they heal. Pretty much cannibalism. For, uh, it's can it's pretty much the same, uh, the same mechanic as uh, the cannibalism from Kingdom Hearts Frontiers. So yeah, mm, pretty annoying enemy, for the most part, uh, me, magic, magic damage is very good into them. Dark Spitter, now, these guys are just even more of a pain. 1000 HP, they do between 24 to 36 physical damage, they have medium armor, they have new movement speed, but they also have this, uh, spit, this uh, dark blood spit attack, which deals a lot of damage to your units, pretty much can one-shot a unit, I think. And if a unit dies by that attack, they're gonna transform into a shadow spawn. How do you prevent this from happening? Just keep them in melee range. Their damage is not that high, so you should be able to stall them out with your hero and some reinforcements. And after that, just use lightning strike. These guys are very high priority to spawn kill, so if there's like 3 or 4 coming out, try to stall them up at, at the front of the map or at the, ent at the entrance. And after they're piled up, just lightning strike them. One lightning strike should be enough to delete them. Moving on, Shadow Champion. This enemy is pretty interesting, because uh, even though he only has 2800 HP and high armor, he also deals between 64 to 96 uh, damage. And he also costs 3 lives and he deals area damage. He also has this blood pack thing. Basically, whenever he dies, he explodes and he... And any enemy, any unit that's near it will be affected by a dark blood effect, so... Yeah, you don't want this guy to die in the middle of a choke point, because... Yeah, you're not gonna be happy with the results. The interesting thing about it is that he cannot be insta-killed. Which is something I forgot to mention about the golems. The Twilight Golem. He is... he cannot be insta-killed. 
this guy and the Shadow Champion are the only enemies in the game that cannot be instant killed. Which is pretty darn unique if you ask me. So, how do you deal with them? Well, just like the, with the Twilight Golem, just go for a Hunter's Mark and a Wild Magus. It's by far the, the fastest way to melt them. And last but not the least, we also have a good diet. Which is the last boss in the game. He does have 1500 HP, so he does have a, quite a lot of HP. He does between 200 to, to, to 250 physical damage, so his attack is very strong. He has no resistances, medium movement speed, and he costs 20 lives. How do you deal with this guy? Well, for the most part, just try to dance around with one of your with one of your units, you preferably your hero, and then when he goes, to, because forgot to mention one thing, he does, occasionally he's gonna spit a gigantic pool that's gonna affect everyone with dark blood effect. So yeah, he usually aims for one of your heroes though. So yeah, for the most how for the most part, the best way to deal with them is. Keep one of your heroes occupied uh, with uh, stalling this guy, preferably the secondary hero. And when this guy is about to attack with his uh, dark spit and he targets, let's say, your the, the hero that you've picked, for example, Rexon, just move him out of the way. And that's how you stall him. It's pretty simple, but not really. It takes a, it takes a little bit of practice, but uh, if you're good enough, you can pretty much uh, never let this guy get past the entrance, which is hilarious. But if you try to beat him normally, this boss is actually pretty tough. So yeah guys, well with that out of the way, that's gonna do it for uh, today's uh, video. Thank everybody so much for watching, I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. And while you're at it, drop a like on the video, it means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rexy, over and out.